What's up you guys? How you doing today? Thank you for coming back and seeing my new stuff. But also if you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate everything that you guys do for me. So I created this really fun, bright look. I love how it came out. My niece is who inspired this look. She turned one years old and she is literally a beam of light. She is such pure sunshine and I wanted to just make something really bright and fun just to celebrate her and her birthday. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Um, I use the Base Tape Tarte Hydrating Primer. So I'm gonna put that all over my face first. I tend to have um, oily, but also dry skin. Like I get oily in some spots. But also dry in others. So I'm just kind of putting this all over my skin. And I did um, wash my face and do like my skincare routine before starting this. I've been recently doing separately like an eye primer. So this is the primer that I've been using. And this one's, it just feels really nice. I like this one. I got this one in my January BoxyCharm. So far, I like it. All right, so after we're all primed, going in with Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is in the color Vanilla, and I like this one just because it's a matte finish, but it's also not like super drying. So I kind of just pump some out onto my skin, on my hand, and just kind of put it all over. And I'm going to be blending this out with a sponge and the sponge that I'm going to be using I got from Target and it looks like this and it has um, on the side here RT I'm sorry I don't know the exact brand but it's got like this flat side here which I really like and then this side over here which I use for my concealer and it is now wet I like this one it has a lot of bounciness to it. So we're just going to blend this out with that. So this foundation is medium to full coverage, but it is buildable, which is nice because there's some spots that I like a little bit more coverage. Always make sure to get up right in that hairline, just so you don't have that glow around your hairline. The concealer that I use is the Tarte Shape Cape. I have the color 16N, which is Fair Light Neutral. So I like to just cover up. I tend to get big, dark circles under my eyes. So I like to cover those up and then just lighten the focal points on the top of my face. The highest points we got going on. So then I just go in with the pointed side of this blender and I just blend it out. I like this because it makes it very bright. I find it's hardest to get the very inner corner of my eye, but this tip of this blender really does a good job at getting in there. I set the concealer with a certain uh, powder and the powder that I used to do this is the Wet n Wild Pressed Bronzer. It's in the color Reserve Your Cabana. So this is a bronzer, but it's so light. <laughs> so you can use it however you would want to use it. So I just use some of this on a brush and I just set a concealer. Thank you. 
After that, what I use to set my whole face is Hourglass Veils Translucent Setting Powder. I have to say, I really like this setting powder. I'm not a fan of the packaging. They have this like stopper here and only a little bit of powder comes out into the top, like instead of the entire thing having holes in it. So only a little bit comes out at a time. I normally just use my brush to get whatever is on the top there. And then I also use what's actually in there because I always have to tap it a couple times to get all of the powder I want. So I just use this to set all over my face. In the beginning of me doing makeup, I had a hard time like feeling if it was set or not. Like to me, it was something new that I wasn't used to like feeling. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but the way you can tell like if you have enough powder is the brush, you'll feel like a tug on that like wet foundation and concealer. And once that tug kind of goes away, and the brush kind of just glides on your face. That's how you can tell like your foundation or concealer is now set properly because that powder clung to it and will hold in place your foundation and concealer. So after that, I go in with my brows. I don't do much to them, but I do use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I got this from Ulta and I got it with the kit that also comes with the clear gel. So that all came in a kit. I use the color taupe. So first it comes with the side of the actual pencil and then the side with the spoolie. So I just spoolie out my brows. you just kind of do a flicking motion just to make it a little bit softer you don't want to do an entire bold line from the start and it just like you wouldn't want to line it from all the way up here you just want to keep it soft up here and then fill back here and then from there I just use the clear gel and I just go right over top of it. Make sure everything stays in place. I have some flyaway hairs that like to do as they please. So this just makes sure they are all in place. I'm gonna use the fade into hue. ColourPop palette, which is seriously so much fun, you guys. Like, <laughs> all of the colors that are in here, like that's so much color. So going in with this, I'm just using a blending brush. So there is some yellow on here. I did this look yesterday, like I said, but I'm going to start out with the color Bonus Points. Tap a little bit on my brush and then I knock it off just so there's not a lot of excess and I start with this working into my crease and I kind of blend a little bit up just to start as my base color. This was something that I had a hard time doing at first. To me, eyeshadow is difficult to get to look the exact same, but it just takes practice. 
the only way you're gonna get better at something is if you keep doing it. So next I'm going to just take the one right under there. This is called abstract. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm just going to more work this into the crease. Rather than bring it up like onto the higher part of my eye. And then I'm gonna go in with more of a flat brush. I'm gonna use this and pack that into the outer corner. I'm kinda kinda bring it down a little bit just to make a point at the outside of my eye because I'm gonna have that meet with what I put on the lower lash line. Next from here, I used the color Big Smile, but I used my finger to get some on my finger and I found this works better with the finger. And I just pack it onto the rest of my lid. Try to get into that corner. Look how pretty that is, it's so sparkly. I did get some on the bottom, but that's okay anyway because this does go on my lower lash line. So on the lower lash line, I took again Abstract, which is the more brighter matte color that I used on my outer corner. And I'm going to just pack that into the lash line but also have it meet where that outer corner had some of the abstract as well. I'm gonna use bonus points just to darken that up a little bit. And I'm gonna bring that more towards the middle. Again, going back to this brush and just blending that out. Last thing I'm gonna do is take Big Smile, which was the sparkly one, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner of the bottom lash line, just to give it like a sparkle. I think it's so cute. I'm gonna work those to touch right in the corner there. I love the sparkle, like I love what it gives to the look. This is my finished look for the eyeshadow after this. I went in with a brown liquid liner. This is from Araceli. I'm totally going to butcher that. <laughs> but this is a brown liner um, that I just got in the color coffee. Yeah, this was in my February Ipsy. Not Ipsy bag for February. I'm gonna zoom you in a little. And I just did a tiny bit of this along the lash line. doesn't have to be perfect, just a line basically to cover the lash band. And the lashes I'm gonna be using today are the bright lashes. So I already wore these yesterday, so they are cut down to size. There's a little tab that you can just pull to get out the clear packaging. The lash glue that I like is Duo. 
This is the lash glue I've really been liking. So we're gonna use that today. This is the green one. It is Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. Not sure what the vitamins are, <laughs> but that just sounds better, right? First, to get them ready for the lashes, I'm going to use my curler just to give it a little up. So my lashes go like upward into it. This is just a Revlon eyelash curler. And then I'm just going to use a thin coat of Tarte's Man Eater Mascara. I really do like this mascara. However, something I've noticed is it tends to like transfer like from the bottom lashes down like onto my face. Like over the day, it's really weird. Like after it already has dried. So I'm not sure if you guys know a way to prevent that from happening. Cause like, I like this mascara. I just don't want it to be transferring onto like my under eyes. So I'm just taking my lash. I use tweezers to hold like the very, very middle real close to that band, but without like crushing those lashes. And then I just take the glue, which I like this one because it's got like a brush. There we go. So you just brush it onto the band and then you wait 30 seconds for this to dry or become tacky, sorry, not dry. You wanna make sure it becomes tacky. So this lash glue has like a bluish hue to it and then it turns like translucent. So I start just by lining it up with the middle, getting it as close to my lash line as I can. This style of lash is so pretty. Like she did really good with these. I don't know if everybody does this, but this is something that I just like to do. But I kind of use a bigger spoolie and I just kind of brush out my lashes upward. Applying eyelashes is hard, you guys. So I understand, I really do, because I still have a hard time with it. But do not give up. You got this. I know it's frustrating. But once you keep doing it and then you can just put it on just like that, like I did, and it looks good, it is so rewarding because it really is hard. So just keep practicing. All right, going in with this one now. Sometimes I have to touch up my actual like eyeliner, but then sometimes I don't. Today is a scenario where I don't really feel like I do need to touch it up. So I'm just going to take Man Eater Mascara again, go in on my bottom lashes. to go. Last thing doing for the eyes is I'm using the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the color Exit. I'm gonna only be using this on the bottom of my waterline. I really, really, really like this white. I have the NYX Cosmetics White also. This is like a thicker type of a liner. Um, and this is in the color 604, which is the color Milk. But this one, just really like stays, it stays a lot longer. So this is just going to go on the waterline on the bottom. Look at the difference. It just pops, I love it. So I don't know you guys, 
I've been hearing that you cannot get this like by itself. I bought this entire ColourPop eyeliner like set really just for this. I mean, I'm going to have a lot of fun with a lot of the other colors. Like there's endless, endless things that you can do with this. But I mainly bought it for this because I heard very good things about it. I just can't believe that they don't sell this like separately. Like, come on. They just know people like me will buy that whole kit <laughs> just for the white. Just to finish up with the face here, I'm going to be using Park F Princess by Tarte. This is their bronzer. Just going to be bronzing up the face here. It smells so good. Like it smells like straight coconuts. I'm not really going to be contouring. I'm just bronzing up a little bit. I just really like this bronzer. Next for blush, I'm going to be using Tarte. This is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And this is the color Quirky. Just getting some of this on here. This color is so cute. So cute, you guys. Last thing, I'm going to be using Too Faced Natural Face. I love this palette. This is one of the first things that I bought when I started like using makeup. Comes with the two bronzers, comes with two blushes, comes with two highlighters, and I love all of them. The bronzers are very deep for like my color tone, so when I want a more dramatic look, I'll go with one of these. I just like how the Tarte bronzer kind of just gives you a little bit of extra color. It's not as dramatic. Um, but today I'm gonna be using the Satin Sheets Highlight. This has like a golder tone to it. And I think it goes really nicely with the eye look that I created, just cause that's obviously yellow. So it's got some warm tones to it there. So I'm just using a small brush like this. Like this is so, so pretty you guys. I love this. Like this is probably one of my favorite highlights. It's just so pretty. Like, that is so pretty. I'm gonna use a little bit down the nose. The Cupid's bow. Now I am going to use a tiny bit of this as my highlight, cause in the palette that I use for my eyes, that's like very bright, vibrant colors. There's really not a color like to highlight your eyes with that. So I'm going to use this just right in the corner here, just to give it a little pop. Again over there, and I'm also going to put this right under my brow. Just to give that a little pop too. Very last thing going in with the lips, I am using the MAC. This is in the color Honey Love. This is just a matte lipstick. I really like this nude color. So I'm rocking with it. Mm. It's such a creamy formula. I really love this lipstick. It's really, really nice. I wore this, I bought this actually originally for our engagement pictures. And it was just nice to wear all day. Um, topping that off, I'm going to use Wonder Kiss. This is a lip plumping gloss in a similar color. It is in the color nude, but it's just very tiny and it just gives a little extra glow. And it just feels really nice. Finishing that off, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a matte setting spray. I really like matte finishes in general. So we're going in with that. All right, you guys, this is the completed look and I really, really like how it turned out. I kind of just like played around yesterday just to see 
how I can make a really bright, like fun look. And I really like how it came out. If you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also comment below if you wanna see that skincare routine and let me know what you think of this look. I appreciate everybody for watching. Thank you very much and I will see you next week. Bye.